set out on a journey today that is filled with political schemes and shifting allegiances. What happens when the most powerful leader in the region is betrayed by a reliable ally? Is Belarus under President Alexander Lukashenko really switching allegiances and challenging Vladimir Putin of Russia? Join us as we discuss recent events in depth, including a startling offer, border tensions, and the use of nuclear weapons. During an interview last week, Lukashenko said, and I'm quoting, no one is against Kazakhstan and other countries having the same close relations that we have with the Russian Federation. If someone is worried, it is very simple. Join in the Union State of Belarus and Russia. That's all. Could this be Putin's final stand? An imminent attack on Ukraine through Belarus is predicted by intelligence analysis, signaling a turning point in the Ukrainian crisis. These rumors caused concern and raised the possibility of a third front in the conflict. The area confirms that the large number of Russian soldiers stationed along the Belarusian Ukrainian border who frequently conduct drills and even harass Ukrainian forces. But how does President Lukashenko fit into this developing drama? The Ukrainian army has been actively implementing precautions in anticipation of the expected Russian assault through Belarus. It's important to remember that Belarus, under the leadership of President Alexander Lukashenko, has emphatically rejected Russia's declarations that it worked with them to invade Ukraine. Despite this, hostilities are still very high, and the intelligence reports have drawn attention from all across the world. The likelihood of a big escalation is present, and everyone is waiting for confirmation and new information. However, why would Belarus, a steadfast friend of Russia for years, suddenly deny working together and contradict the intelligence reports? What elements would have caused Lukashenko's position to change? We must look deeper into recent events and the intense connection between Lukashenko and Putin in order to provide answers to these questions. Is Belarus really switching sides, or are there any other factors at work? Come along with us as we proceed through this intriguing geopolitical drama. Just a few weeks ago, Lukashenko shocked the world by demanding a quick end to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine and encouraging both sides to get into dialogue without restrictions. Given Belarus' long-standing support for Russia and its close ties to President Putin, this surprise move has many confused. Why would Lukashenko suddenly call for a stop to hostilities and support negotiations between Russia and Ukraine? Some theorize that Lukashenko's offer might have been motivated by a desire to stop more casualties and destruction in the area. It can also be an effort to project Belarus' diplomatic skills on the global arena as a peacemaker or mediator. But skeptical individuals raise doubt on Lukashenko's motives, claiming that hidden political calculations might be at play. Recent years have seen a rise in domestic opposition as well as unrest against Lukashenko, particularly in the wake of the contentious 2020 Belarusian elections. This turmoil may have had an impact on Lukashenko's decision to dissolve his alliance with Putin and possibly look for a more presentable position in the eyes of the international community. Furthermore, there are issues with Lukashenko and Putin's relationship that are brought up by his offer. What would have sparked this unexpected gap and hostility between the two leaders? It's crucial to remember that Lukashenko's request for a ceasefire came soon after reports of tense situations and conflicts involving their respective armed forces. It is crucial to take into account the geopolitical context of Lukashenko's actions. Relationships between Russia and the West have been strained by the ongoing crisis in Ukraine, which has resulted in international repercussions and increased pressure on Putin's government. In order to ensure his own political survival, Lukashenko might see an opportunity to present himself as a more neutral actor. He might even go to the international community for assistance. Additionally, Lukashenko's offer to set up a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin and American President Joe Biden shows a deliberate effort to involve powerful nations in addressing the Ukraine problem. By doing this, Lukashenko hopes to highlight his significance in the area and perhaps win support for his own political objectives. We must also think about the consequences of Lukashenko's offer for Ukraine as we continue to dive deeper. Will it result in a resolution to the conflict or worsen an already challenging situation? And how will the world react to Lukashenko's unexpected turn away from Russia? Ukraine has been struggling for years with the terrible effects of the war with Russia. According to recent intelligence estimates, Russia may assault through Belarus, perhaps creating a third front in the conflict. 
These claims are further supported by Russian troops stationed near the Belarus-Ukraine border, actively participating in drills and occasionally harassing Ukrainian forces. Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko says nations who are willing to join Russia and Belarus will be given nuclear weapons. This comes days after he confirmed the transfer of some tactical nuclear weapons from Moscow to Minsk had begun. Lukashenko, a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, made the comments in an interview on a Russian media company. He also said it must be strategically understood that both the countries have a unique chance to unite, while also stating no one minds Kazakhstan and other countries having the same close relations that Belarus has had with the Russian Federation. In light of this, Ukraine can take comfort from Lukashenko's call for a truce and unrestricted discussions. It offers a chance for diplomatic communication and may pave the road for a peaceful settlement of the issue. However, there is still suspicion about Lukashenko's motivations, and the world community is intently monitoring how these events take place. However, Russia's response has been contradictory. Putin's relationship with Lukashenko may have been damaged by the idea, but the announcement by Russia to station nuclear weapons in Belarus has made the issue even more complicated. Ukraine has strongly criticized this choice, and it has sparked worries about the possible use of nuclear weapons in the area. Additionally, other parties to the dispute have responded to Lukashenko's invitation. The necessity of Belarus having a free and fair election process and upholding human rights has been emphasized by the United States and its allies. Furthermore, they have stated their support for the citizens of Belarus and their efforts to find a peaceful solution to the conflict. However, recognizing the potential risks and difficulties linked to these outcomes is essential though. A struggle for control within Belarus and Russia's erratic response may cause more instability in the area and a worsening of the crisis in Ukraine. These complications must be carefully navigated by the international community, which includes the United States, the European Union, and neighboring nations, to make sure that any actions performed are in the greatest interest of peace, stability, and the rights of the Ukrainian people for that strategic diplomacy, coordination, and a clear grasp of the geopolitical situation will be necessary. One thing is certain as the situation develops, the Putin-Lukashenko conflict and its effects on the war in Ukraine have broad consequences for the region and beyond. The choices taken by important parties in the upcoming days and weeks will influence these countries' futures and may have long-term effects on the global environment. The events we've looked at today have shed light on the shifting regional dynamics and the potential change in Belarus' relationship with Russia. A window of opportunity has been opened by Lukashenko's call for ceasefire and dialogue without restrictions, but it also comes with enormous risks and hurdles. The future course of events will be shaped by the tense relationship between Lukashenko and Putin, as well as by the international reaction and the influence of the Belarusian opposition. As this conflict has the potential to worsen and affect international security, the stakes are high not only for Belarus and Ukraine, but also for the larger international community. We must be aware of the dangers and difficulties present when we think about the possible outcomes. The deployment of Russian nuclear weapons in Belarus has driven up tensions and raised the possibility of disastrous outcomes if not handled with extreme caution. The world will be watching these events attentively in the days and weeks to come. The decisions made by significant parties, including world leaders, international organizations, and the opposition in Belarus will influence regional development and have long-term effects on global geopolitics. The international community must continue to be on guard and actively involved in seeking out peaceful solutions. The lessons of history serve as a constant reminder of the terrible effects that geopolitical tensions and conflicts can have. We must keep in mind that the Putin-Lukashenko conflict is far from over as we bring to a close our in-depth investigation of it. The decisions made today will have far-reaching effects for years to come as the future of Ukraine, Belarus, and the region as a whole hangs in the balance. We appreciate you coming along with us on this exploration and informative journey. Let's keep track of what's happening, stay informed, and push for a peaceful end to this issue. We hope that our video has given you a crucial perspective on how this geopolitical situation is changing. Keep checking back for additional information and in-depth analysis on world events. Be equals key sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.